The city of Amsterdam is reclaiming their waterfront in order to be made of something stronger. With an aggressive push towards redevelopment projects that foster growth within the city limits, along with public and private investment partners, the city is no longer a bedroom community, but a place where people can live, work, and play. The commitment to restoring this gem on the Mohawk has already begun. Like the adaptive reuse of our downtown buildings into mixed-use facilities, the micro-enterprise grant program that will help startup businesses and existing businesses to flourish. The Sanford Clock Tower's new business incubator space. I think the potential is unbelievable. There's a lot of opportunities for other healthcare providers and other businesses to come in. And there's a lot of need. There's a lot of patients that are, are wonderful and, and great to treat. And there's a need for a wide variety of specialties in many different areas. The opening of the Amsterdam Castle into a boutique hotel and tourist destination. People come here because it's a wonderful place to be in, which is same really as being a great place to make money because we exist to, for the quality of life, and this place offers it. We came up here, fell in love with the city, by the way. I love the weather, and upstate is fabulous during the peak season, and even fall, beautiful. And a lot of people escape the city to come here. And I said to my wife, hey, look, why not just uh, do something with it? And that's where it all started. Let's develop it. And the multimodal facility relocation project are all helping to transform the city's urban core for generations to come. Private and public investors alike are beginning to call Amsterdam home with KCG investing in the former Chalmers site which will bring employment opportunities, a banquet facility, restaurant and shops. We're excited to be here in Amsterdam because we think it's right for a mixed-use, multi-family environment on Bridge Street on the south side. Uh, we are attracted by the proximity to a job center that's uh, been, been developing up in the town of Florida, as well as uh, Amsterdam has great bones of a city and a downtown, walkable, pedestrian-friendly city, which we know uh, from our experience in multiple states to be a desirable living environment. and. Um, modernized housing on the riverfront right here, walkable to downtown, walkable to cafes and restaurants in the south side, it was just an exciting uh, project to tackle. We're really, really excited to deliver it for the city of Amsterdam. The new Sentinel Assisted Living Facility, set to open shortly, will bring additional employment opportunities. Because as you walk in, as you drive in to the city, right, you just see this, you don't see this much anymore. You see a one strip, downtown, quaint, people walk around, they're happy, everybody knows everybody here, everybody greets you, everybody says hello, and you know, that's something I would want in my community. And the fact that, you know, I'm able to have that and provide a good service to the community, that's, that, there's nothing better than that. We're not just an assisted living community, we're the Sentinel. We're different than everybody else. The brand new Mohawk Valley Gateway Overlook Bridge that connects Main Street and the South Side while resting above our beautiful waterfront, brings family and friends of all ages to celebrate Amsterdam's rebirth. We believe that uh, we're on a, on a great path. Um, we just need a little help uh, from both our leaders in the Senate and in the Assembly who have been great proponents for us. Uh, and we think that we really can turn the corner and really bring Amsterdam where we really think it it can go. The city of Amsterdam is reclaiming their waterfront and is on their way to be called the new vibrant city of the Mohawk Valley. The city of Amsterdam is made of something stronger, 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 stronger. stronger.